Aloha, top of the morning, friends and family. It's Gus Go Uncut. A lot like the ones we used to do where I wasn't running around all amped up because it's, it's a sort of a remorseful day. Hmm. <sighs> this empty enclosure here is where Roxanne, our red tegu, used to reside. She passed away sometime in the last 24 hours and buried her over next to our Indigo Snake Sunset. And she's she's gone, she's gone, and uh, you know it's it sucks, you know, on one end for sure. Never fun to lose an animal. This is one of the worst feelings uh, in animal keeping that you could have. It's you're caring for the animal and then it dies, and no matter what, even if it's if it's your fault or or not, you know, because everything dies on this earth, uh, it still doesn't make it necessarily easier, you know. Uh, I'm grateful that she had a good long life. You know, when, when she came to me, she was already old. Um, I got her from Brandon Fowler, Roaming Reptiles. And he, when he got her, I believe she was already, you know, a certain... He didn't know how old she was necessarily when he she came to him. So she's been, been around for a bit. She's made plenty of kids' days, interacted with so many kids, and had such a great time... Um, well, I don't know if she was having a great time, but the kids definitely were having a great time while they were interacting with her and my kids included, you know, helping her pick off her shed. And, you know, just I could kind of feel it coming because she started to change. You know, she was always really kind of a lazy kind of do to do lizard. And then she started going through this, through this phase where she was just like super hyper and like energetic but not necessarily in a good way. And she started to have trouble shedding and just it was something I could feel was coming. And honestly, the worst part about it was, uh, I mean, losing her, obviously, but as as we mentioned, you know, everything dies. And so that's that's coming for everything. You know, it's, it's inevitable on this earth. Uh, but having to tell Brandon, that was that was not fun this morning, you know, because he she was a special animal for him. And I really wanted him to know right away. And I figured I'd share it with you guys. I, I wasn't going to do an uncut video today because I just only got a few hours sleep last night. And it was uh, just a busy day. And I just thought my brain wasn't working well enough to be able to speak coherently into a camera. But I somehow got a second wind and was able to do some sit-ups and push-ups. And here I am. And uh, i just like to thank our sponsors, Freedom Breeder and Morph Market, for being awesome companies that just support what we do here and allow us to have full creative control over our content and, and talk about whatever we really feel. Check out this shirt. I got this from... I got that from Melissa at the Tinley Show. Pretty cool. Little collaboration shirt. It's nice. But I just, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, there have been a lot of things happening here that are kind of behind the scenes that I haven't really talked about so much. I, I've been working with... A, um, a guy who's maybe going to become pastor at our gathering. I, I go to a, a gathering in on Sunday mornings that is not a traditional church, as, as is there's no building. <laughs> we just meet out in the park, and it's really cool and really beautiful. But um, there's been a lot of talk about how to grow that and moving forward, and there's talk about me being a youth pastor there, and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. And we, we had a meeting this morning. That's why I only got three hours last night, because I had a really good conversation with some friends that were visiting until the wee hours of the morning, and then, uh, you know, got up to have that meeting. And it's just been building going forward. And there's so many things I'd like to share with you guys. It, it, part of it is tied to the fact that we've, we've lost Roxanne and, and how I'm feeling about it. Like, I'm, you know, I'm okay. I'm okay. I, 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 it kind of caught me off guard, like how I felt when I knew that, when I realized that she had passed and that it was time to bury her. You know, um, we've lost animals in the past. We've been fortunate to not lose too many animals. You know, in the, in the years that we've been back and keeping reptiles here in the mainland, uh, we've just lost a handful, you know, over that time. And it always sucks. It isn't fun, but there's been this, this comfort that I have, you know, since I've been since I've come to the Lord and come to know the Lord. And I just wanted to share that with you guys too. And there were so many good conversations I had with folks at the Tinley Park show in particular. And some folks don't like me talking about uh, Jesus. And I, I get it. You know, it's, it's uh, 
he's pretty it seems exclusive and he kind of is exclusive and i just i just my prayer is that no matter what i do that i reflect the love of christ and god in my actions and in my word and in my speech to others and that if i if i mess that up along the way which i'm certain to do because i'm just a human um i would just i would just pray that you don't see that as a reflection of what god does for people and that's just me messing up <laughs> uh yeah and and i think that's that's about it for today i, I mean i want to share some verses with you guys that that if any of you out there are going through anything or if you if, if you're needing comfort i think these verses are helpful i think Hilo's needing comfort i don't know if you guys can hear him but he's whining back there Hilo, are you good bud Hilo, why are you laying on the ground whining come here do you need a snug Right, bud. Why are you just laying there whining, bud? Everything's okay. It's all right. You miss Roxanne? They they actually kind of become buddies, which was really cool to watch. Um, <laughs> I honestly, I didn't really film any of those moments because you know I didn't feel like dealing with people freaking out about a dog and a tegu interacting on on the internet. You know, I just I didn't feel like opening it up to that. Uh, you know, sometimes people get a little nuts and I just don't feel like dealing with it. So I just, I don't share, but this is something I definitely want to share. And it's, I, 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 if even just one person really benefits from this, then that's good enough for me, you know? And I, I just want it for everybody. And <clears throat> here, let me, hi, Hilo. You're a good boy. You're a good puppy. I'm going to read this for you. I think you'll really like it. It's Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. There is no want to those who fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord who is the man who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and saves such as have a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He guards all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. That's kind of a lot to soak up, maybe, for, for some, but... Uh, I hope that some of those words um, comforted you the way they, they comfort me. And I had one more point, and this is where that lack of sleep is kicking in. <sighs> yep, that's the old uncut. I'm just going to sit here peacefully until I, until I think of what it was. Just one other thing I thought earlier before I hit record on this video is is this relationship I have with the Lord. And it's it's a personal relationship, and and I'm 
I'm not religious. That was it. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, you, you've turned to religion or you, you're, you're religious now. I'm not. In fact, I, I don't, I really don't like religion, honestly. That might not make sense to some folks, but I think to some of you, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, but I don't ever want to come off as like holier than thou or anything like that because I'm just a man and I, I am, I never want to come off as if I think I'm better than anybody else because I don't, I really don't. It's, it's quite the opposite. Um, it's only through the fact that I have that relationship with him now where I'm able to be here and speak. It's, it's only through his salvation that I'm able to share these things with you. And, uh, and feel feel comfortable doing it. Yeah, and that's that. I hope you guys are having a great day. And we got a great video coming up for you this weekend. Really exciting clutch that's on the ground right now. Last clutch of the season. And we'll we'll check that out and check out this really cool new feature on Morph Market that um, I'm going to utilize and you guys will probably utilize too if you're hatching any snakes at all. Or even not, even if you're not. Even if you're not hash snakes, even if you're just keeping them. Yeah. That's it. We good? Thanks, you guys, for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you on the next video. Aloha.